Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I don't know where you're watching this video from. Kisumu is fantastic. It's actually raining outside, outside here. And I hope you can hear the sound. So the weather is very good. Let me know the country and the county you're watching this particular video from. Now, Raila Molo Dinga took a 10-day break from his campaigns. That move by Raila Molo Dinga came as a surprise to many Kenyans. Because Raila Odinga's campaign had just started taking off. And according to the expectations of his supporters, and I received several calls, for, 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 for example, he was supposed to be in uh, Bungoma and then in Busia. Raila Odinga didn't show up in Bungoma. And as usual, many Kenyans started speculating where Raila Odinga, why Raila Odinga was taking a 10-day break. And news started emerging that he was actually going to Ethiopia and later on to India. And then majority of Kenyans, especially those who support William Samoy Ruto and his UDA party, started believing that Raila Odinga was going for medical attention in India. And then Raila Odinga later on updated, made an update on his official Facebook page. Let me just read for you what he posted. As at now, that was 24 hours ago, he was saying, Great catching up with the Hel Meriam the Selek Boshe, former Ethiopian PM, and Meles Alem, their ambassador to Kenya, before taking off to Addis Ababa to attend African Union meeting. Now, from that post, that's when Kenyans now realized that Raila Odinga was actually headed for African Union meeting in Addis Ababa. From Addis Ababa, Raila Odinga is expected to go to India. So he's going to take a 10-day break. And I was asking someone why Raila Odinga is taking 10-day break. And he told me, politically speaking, there's a lot of things will not be, a lot of things are going to happen within ODM party and Jubilee party during that period. And that's why Raila Odinga decided to take a break. And from the photos we've, which we've seen from uh, Ethiopia, it is clear that that particular trip is also political because President Ru Kenyatta is also in Ethiopia. In an ideal situation, the person who ought to have been in Ethiopia is the Deputy President Dr. William Samara Pruto. And remember in 2018, just a few months after the handshake, President Uhuru Mure Kenyatta influenced the appointment of Raila Molodinga as the African High Representative for infrastructure at the African Union. So that appointment I, I explained on this platform was actually meant to achieve certain political objectives. And from the photos from that particular meeting, you can see Raila Odinga mingling with other heads of state. I can clearly see the DRC President Shekedi. I can see Mna Gangwa, the, the, the guy who replaced Mugabe. In Zimbabwe, I can see Hichilema, the Malawian new president. So Raila Odinga is actually meeting these heads of state. And the president, President Uru Kenyatta, is with him. Then from here, Raila Odinga will be headed straight to India. Remember, the Indian president, Modi, is a personal friend to Raila Amol Odinga. So in this video, I want us to look at the political aspect of Raila Odinga's presence in Ethiopia. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you, thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, let us get back to business. The main objective of uh, this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't get any other place. So basically, we look at all possibilities and bring them together to you. Most of you just believe that Raila Odinga is in Ethiopia as the high representative for infrastructure for African Union. That cannot be the reason why Raila Odinga can freely mingle with African heads of state. That appointment, which was done, let me just try if I can get... Uh, 
the details about that particular appointment. That appointment of Raila Odinga, uh, let me just see if I can get it. Raila appointment, Raila. Just a minute. Yes. Let me just read for you the com communications which was issued on the 20th day of October 2018 by African Union regarding this appointment. That letter is saying, I mean, that communication is saying the chairperson of African Union Commission, Musa Faki Mohamad, today appointed Honorable Raila Odinga of Kenya as High Representative for Infrastructure Development in Africa. This decision is part of African Union drive to expedite the integration of the continent through infrastructure in order to promote economic growth and sustainable development. It comes against the backdrop of renewed effort in this regard as exemplified by adoption last March in Kigali of the agreement of Africa Continental Free Trade. It says the high representative will work to support and strengthen the effort of the commission's relevant department and those of planning and coordinating agencies of partnership, new partnership for Africa Development, NEPAD, within the framework of the Program for Infrastructure Development in Africa, PIDA, which was endorsed by the Assembly of Union on, in January 2012. In this respect, his mandate includes, remember, these are the mandates, his, his mandates include mobilizing further political support from member states so mobilizing members' political support, it means Reludinga will be dealing directly with most of these heads of state. Uh -huh. Mobilizing support, political support from member state and the regional economic communities, like uh, if there's SADC, if there's those regional communities, and facilitating greater ownership by all concerned stakeholders in the continent. He will also support the Commission and the Pan Initiative to encourage increased commitment to development partners. I don't want to get into all those. Let me just focus myself in the political aspect. Why Raila Odinga decided to suspend his campaigns to go and attend this particular event and is from there he's going to go to India. Number one, the African Union, this meeting, is providing Raila Amolo Odinga with opportunity to interact with African leaders. From the photos which have emerged, you can clearly see Raila Amolo Odinga with the several heads of state. You can count them. There are several. In fact, there's one photo where everybody was there, took photos, and someone was suggesting that it's only Kenya which has two heads of state. Or the president and the people's president. Because in that photo, there's President Ru Kenyatta and also there's Raila Amolodinga. Let me assure you that if there's one thing which William Ruto is actually missing, is international networks. When Uru Kenyatta appointed Raila Odinga to this position, I explained clearly that the president wanted Raila Odinga to use this opportunity to actually interact with African leaders. These African leaders, after elections, they'll be the first people expected to actually endorse the elections. If they don't, you are in trouble. So by being close to these people, it means Raila Dinga will make friends to, of course, he has several heads of state who are his friends, but he will have the opportunity to interact with the newly elected leaders. Some he's meeting for the first time. And that is going to play a key role for him, politically speaking, in 2022, in August. For example, William Ruto can only count on Museveni in Africa, and who else? So it means if African Union are, are uh, okay with the elections, even if they are rigged, they can say, clean bill of health. That's number one. Number two, this opportunity also provides Raila Molodinga with international networks. I remember in DRC, there's this Ingadam project which is the biggest in Africa. Multi-billion project. Who are the contractors? Who are overseeing this project? Who are the engineers? You know, those questions. Who are funding the project? The fact and the truth of the matter is that through these meetings, like you will be in India, expect Raila Dinga to meet with the president, President Modi. Modi will send him to 
minister A, minister B, minister C. You never know who else Modi will call. Basically, it's about networking. International networks are very important in elections. Nobody has ever won elections without being connected internationally. When William Ruto tried to create international networks by going to Chatham, what happened was that President Ruto Kenyatta had to cut short that trip. The DP had to come back to the country very fast. So the truth of the matter is that the African Union meeting is actually providing Raila Amulu Dinga with the opportunity to, inter to, to network or to create international networks. I saw him there with the former president of Asanjo, several other senior government officials from other countries, you know, foreign dignitaries meeting, and Raila was the center of focus because he's the head, is the high representative for infrastructures. He's the one who is supposed to go and talk to donors. He's the guy who's supposed to go and convince experts that this project is, are, are actually needed. So that's number two. Number three, I think Uhuru Kenyatta is also sending signals to his friends, his peers, and his colleagues that the next president after me is this guy. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing explains. Remember, in 2020, when Uhuru and Raila attended this meeting, there was even Rosemary Odinga. And in the photos which were shared at that time, Rosemary Odinga was putting on a blue, a blue dress. <laughs> and she was seated, Uhuru was actually between Rosemary and, and uh, Raila. And Uru was seen talking happily with Rosemary. So the fact and the truth of the matter is that the president is actually exposing Raila Odinga to his friends. He's telling them that, you know, when they are now joking outside there, that for me, I want him to, to replace me, not my deputy. My deputy is playing around. <laughs> Number four, this African Union is a good opportunity for Raila Odinga to raise campaign funds. At least he met with four presidents face to face. He's telling them, I'm running for an election to become the next president in August. So that next summit, I want to come here as the head of state. I expect you guys to help me raise funds. These heads of state will help Raila Odinga raise funds. I remember Felix Shekedi of DRC when he came here. It was Nyong actually who introduced him to Raila, I think. I remember because uh, there's a mutual friend. I think the guy died. And Raila Odinga helped him a lot in his campaign. And he was even introduced to President Uru Kenyatta. And that's why when his elections were concluded, the African Union was able to endorse him as the newly elected president. So it will be easy for people like Shekedi to pump their money on Raila Odinga. It will be easy for these other heads of states to pump their money in a guy they've always seen in their meetings. Raila Odinga was appointed in 2018. Raila Odinga has been interacting with them since that time up to now. Which means, if Raila Odinga wanted money, these guys can easily fund. Apart from that, how much is being pumped into these mega projects? The DRC project alone is multi-billion US dollar project. You can be assured that the guy who got that tender is also a multi-millionaire, billionaire. So the guy would also be readily available to fund Raila Odinga so that he can become the head of the state of Kenya and he will be able to ensure that the project is con concluded. And lastly, one of the things which this African Union has helped Raila Odinga with is that even in the country here, it has helped Raila Odinga launch government project under African Union. There are several projects which Raila Odinga has always launched in this country, but they've always been launched under the banner of African Union, despite the fact that we know some of those projects are actually government projects. But because Raila Odinga is the head of African Union, if there is a road which is supposed to connect one or two countries, then it now falls under his docket. And he has now that right to manage those kind of projects. I don't know what to think, but politically for me, I think the meeting in... Uh, in Ethiopia, is going to help Raila Odinga to interact with the heads of state. It's going to help Raila Odinga network, create international networks, help Raila Odinga raise funds. 
it's basically Uru Kenyatta signal to his friends that this is the guy. Let me hear your thoughts. Maybe your thoughts are different. Bye-bye.